Today we're going to look at how you can download Astrometrica onto your computer for use with the Asteroids and Comets project. To download Astrometrica, go to www.astrometrica.at. Astrometrica looks at CCD images and you can blink through the images to find moving objects such as asteroids and comets. To download Astrometrica, click on Downloads on the menu bar on the left. So we'll click on the version that we need for our computer. And if I click on Run, this will actually start installing Astrometrica onto my computer. And for your benefit, we'll whiz through this setup now. Once Astrometrica has been downloaded onto your computer, there's a very simple wizard that will take you through the installation. Once Astrometrica is installed, you'll see that a note appears which says that you have a fully functional, unregistered version of Astrometrica for evaluation. You can use Astrometrica for 100 days, after which they do ask you to put a key into the software. The key can be obtained from the Fawkes Telescope project team. You do have to show, if you want to have this key for free, that you are an educational user of Astrometrica. The first thing that you need to do to configure Astrometrica is to download the configuration files. If you go to the main LCOGT website and click on Education and then Observing Groups, You can then find the Asteroid and Comet Observing Group. And from this group, there's an article which will help you to set up Astrometrica. The article, How to Set Up Astrometrica, shown on screen now, will step you through how you can configure Astrometrica. You need the configuration files for Astrometrica, which are available here. Click on the link and save the files to your desktop. The next step is loading these files into Astrometrica. So in Windows, you have to extract these files before you can load them into your software. Once you've extracted the files, in Astrometrica, go to the Settings option and a pop-up window will appear. In this example, we're opening the configuration file for Fawkes Telescope North. So, we go to Open, and we navigate to the area where we saved our configuration files, in this case, on a desktop, and we open the configuration file for Fawkes Telescope North. You can see now in this pop-up window that information has been put into the window. This gives contact details, an email address, and also the Minor Planet Center code for Fawkes Telescope North. The observer and the measurer boxes are left blank. When you're analyzing your FITS files data in Astrometrica, you can put the observer and the measurer names in those yourself. Do not change the contact details in this pop-up box. This is because any data files that you analyze with Astrometrica, if you want to send the results to the Minor Planet Center, we do ask that you forward them to the Fawkes Telescope Project first so that we can verify them and then send them onwards to the Minor Planet Center. You will still have the observers and the measurers' names attached to your data, but it's just a check that you've done everything right. This configuration window it gives you information on the CCD that was used. It gives you information on how the program will look for stars and asteroids in there and what star catalogues. It will tell you where Astrometrica is actually looking for the program files and these can be changed by selecting the boxes on the right. Astrometrica will try and access the US Naval Observatory star catalogue from the internet. If you don't have access to the internet and you want to 
analyze your FITS files to find moving objects, then you can load a DVD or CD-ROM of another star catalogue. And these star catalogues are available on the CDs or DVDs from the Fawkes Telescope Project headquarters in Cardiff. Click OK once you've loaded your configuration file. And the next step, which is given in the LCO help page, is you need to download the database of the orbital elements of minor planets that have been published by the Minor Planet Centre. This is updated daily and you can either download it from Astrometrica itself by going to Internet and download MPC Orb or if you have a firewall in place you may not be able to do this and so you can download it directly from the MPC website. If your directories are not set up correctly in your configuration file then you will get an error message when you try to download this file from the internet. If you have an error message such as this you can go back into your settings for Astrometrica and you can change the directory path. If you're installing Astrometrica on a school network system, there may be a firewall in place that prevents the download straight from the website. So to download the files manually, we recommend that you go to article and click on the MPC website link. Follow the link and click on the first link at the page here. First time users will be prompted for a username and a password. The username for this file transfer is anonymous and the password you'll be prompted for, you enter your email address. You'll then be put through to the list of files that you can download and the files that you want to download to put into Astrometrica are comet.dat, daily.dat, mpcorb.dat and nea.dat. Once all these files have been saved into your Astrometrica folder, close Astrometrica down if it's still open, and then when you reopen it, the software will look in the Astrometrica folder and it will see that these data files are available and it will read them into Astrometrica. And so now the software has all the information that it needs for when you open your FITS files and identify stars in your images and moving objects in your images.